Today we're going to take you through the use of two machines from Besta by Lincoln Electric. We have the 200S and the 215S. Both multi-process machines capable of MIG welding, TIG welding and manual metal arc. There are a few little differences between the machines. Essentially they are exactly the same power source and they have exactly the same controls. One difference is on the larger machine it will take a 15 kilo spool and it will take a cylinder on the back of it and wheel around the shop. The 200S is hand portable and doesn't have any cylinder facilities and takes a 200 millimeter or for steel five kilo spool. I'm going to take you through the controls on the machine. As you will see, both machines have the same control panel and I'm just going to navigate around it now and show you what each of these functions do on the front panel. Yep. We can set the machine to manual. With this, we can vary the wire feed speed and the voltage, the arc voltage independent of each other. Now, 200S means synergic, which means that we can make this machine operate entirely from one knob. It also, when I move the wire feed speed, it changes the voltage also. This has been pre-programmed by the engineers at the best of factory. Each one should be perfect. If I put it into synergic mode, I need to tell the machine a couple of things. I need to tell it the wire diameter that I'm using. In this next case, I'm going to be using 0.8. Then I need to tell it the gas I'm going to use. And I'm going to use a 5% mixed gas. That's 5% CO2 and argon, which I believe is the best gas for thinner materials. I can then operate the machine in this mode here, where I put the wire feed speed in independently, or I can change the readout on this machine to show material thickness. Yes, so if I'm going to weld 0.9 millimeters material, that's all I do. I do have a slight control on the voltage where I can increase or decrease the, the, the arc voltage to make the weld cooler. I'll move the wire feed speed near the puddle, or I can put a little bit more voltage in where it will draw the wire away from the puddle, make a hotter arc. On the same control, I can put the machine into manual metal arc mode. I can also put it into the TIG mode. TIG on this machine is direct current only, or DC, and that's for welding ferrous materials. It will not weld aluminium in TIG mode. There's another control here. This is inductance for the machine. It will stiffen the arc up in the minus mode and as you go forward, it will soften the arc up for higher currents. If I use this control here, it'll feed the wire through to the end of the torch for me without using any gas or any power. Front. But allow me to set my gas with my pea shooter and I'm looking between 12 and 14 litres a minute. Bottom right hand, you've got a control here. 2T means that you pull the trigger to weld, release the trigger to stop. 4T, you're going to pull the trigger, release the trigger, or you'll start welding, to stop welding, pull the trigger in and release. We're going to start today by welding some 0.9mm material in steel. So we just could always simply do is turn the control till we find 0.9 and we're ready to weld. We're going to TIG weld some mild steel. We've connected the TIG torch to the front of the machine and we put that in the negative terminal. We change our earth cable to put that in the positive. We've connected a bottle of argon gas and it goes straight to the torch where we open a valve to control the start and the stopping of the gas. We're going to touch the tungsten down on the job. We're going to lift it and the arc will strike. We put our machine into the TIG mode and our only control now is amperage. TIG welding is a high strength, high integrity weld. It's not as easy to master as the MIG welding, but it produces some beautiful results. Michaela at the moment is welding without any filler wire. I'm going to stop at halfway, then she's going to introduce some filler wire. Touching the tungsten onto the job. When you see a weld puddle, 
starting producing the filler wire. That's a little cheat for you at home. Lay the filler weld, weld in the joint and fuse the materials together. First weld without filler wire, then with filler wire done properly, then the home DIY cheat. Now I'm going to show you how to use covered electrodes for manual metal arc welding with this machine. We're going to remove the earth on this occasion and put it back into the negative terminal. That's the general rule of thumb for mild steel electrodes, although it's not always the rule. We're using a Besta 2.5 brand, Besta brand 2.5 electrode for this material today. Put it into the electrode holder and we select the manual metal arc welding process. We dial in our current required and we're ready to start welding. Both these machines are aimed at the home and hobby market. They give perfect weld results, whether you're restoring an old vehicle or fixing a gate, maybe making weather vanes or doing some architectural work. These machines are perfect for you.